Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today I have another Port Charlotte on my cask. Yeah, the Port Charlotte is the heavily peated version of the Bruchladi. Yeah, from the Bruchladi distillery. And today we have the Pack 01 heavily peated 2011, eight years old. And this is a, a whiskey that is um, finished in French wine casks, but they did two kind of um, parcels and that's what they call it. And the parcels are uh, a whiskey that was matured, let me let me read that, uh, in red wine casks from the Polyac region of France and uh, for six years and no, in, in American oak casks, and bourbon casks, and then it was finished for two years in these polyac casks. And the second part was matured seven years in uh, normal bourbon casks, and then you matured it for two years in second fill polyac casks. Maybe they used the casks again, but from the years, it doesn't make that much sense. So. Yeah, it's a mixture between two finished whiskies in polyac cast first and second fill. That that is basically what it is. And yeah, heavily peated and not colored, not chill filtered, 56% ABV. And I have missed my water. So today we're gonna try it neat. Mm. Oh. There's the opener. bottle and they have that little room where the glass is fitting in perfectly for pouring I'll just show that to you perfectly mm. there's a nice bottle as well huh. yeah so and it was an eight year old Port Charlotte with red wine cask finishes. Mm -hmm. Smoky. And a little bit flowery. A little bit sweet with a. What is it? It's, maybe it's just a confusion with the smoke, but it smells a little bit like chocolate. There, there's always a, a saying when you have very light smoke, it feels a little bit like chocolate. This is not light smoke, but it still has a little bit of chocolate. Whether it comes from the smoke, it comes from the cask, I don't know, but it's there. Mm. But it's still pretty light. Pretty flowery, pretty sweet. A little bit of hay in there as well. Mm -hmm. But the the smokiness gives it a bit of a a damp feeling, a damp flavor to it. Mm. 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 <laughs> A glowing feeling, only 56%. And that gives you a good impression of how well it is distilled. I don't have a hint of alcohol in the nose and, and the taste just hits you. Oh, this is a cask strength. This is 56% and, mm, and a, a overwhelming sweetness, smokiness. That is always such a good combination. I, I do love the whiskeys that are sweet, bloomy, whiny, and smoky. This sweet and smoky is just, ah, oh, that's my food pairing. pairing. That is my food pairing. Mm, just works well. Mm. 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 
Yeah, the guys at Bruchlady, they do know what kind of good stuff they're producing. The thing is, this ain't coming cheap. Yeah, this is a, a bottle around 100 bucks. For an eight-year-old whiskey, that is a lot of money. But yeah, it is Bruchlady, it is scarce, it is well-made, and it is just a, a good combination, a good, well-thought, blended and produced whiskey. There's a lot of thinking behind the maturation and the yeah the cask selection and also good quality spirits. So mm, yeah, very pricey but still a very very good whiskey. I do like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.